In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the flag of Mauritania using Python's Turtle module. To get started on this flag today, we're going to need to jump over to our Python editor. And as always, we're going to put in that first line of code that says from turtle import asterisk or import star. That's simply saying we are importing all of the functions from the turtle module. And that's going to allow us to draw on our screen with code. So the first thing we're going to do today is just set up our page size to 800 comma 500. Now this function will make your page 800 pixels width by 500 pixels in height. We're then going to set our speed at which we draw at today to zero. That means we're going to be drawing all the shapes on the screen at the quickest speed possible. And we're also going to set up the background color. So put in the BG color function. And we're going to set our background color to C green. That's going to resemble this green background that you see in the Mauritania flag. Alright, so we've got our page set up. Let's just quickly save that and give it a run. And you can see we've got that sea green background color. If you find that color a little bit dull, by all means go and choose another shade of green. But on my computer screen that looks pretty good. Alrighty, so now that we have that set up, we might start on this crescent moon shape. So this yellow crescent moon shape here. And then we'll put the star above that in a moment. To draw that crescent moon, all we're going to do is draw two circles, a yellow one first, and then I'm going to overlap it with another um, green circle that will blend in with the background. So I might put a comment in here. It says moon shape. And I'm going to start by writing, whoops. I'll start by writing pen up, and I'll go to a new set of coordinates. Now the coordinates I want to head to are 0 on the x-axis and 135, actually minus 135 on the y-axis. That just brings us down the page a little bit to start drawing this circle. Once in position, we'll put the pen down. And before I go any further, I just want to apologise about the background noise in this video. You can probably hear a bit of a muffled sound. Uh, we've got some torrential rain pouring at the moment at my house, and it's extremely noisy. So I'll try and keep my voice over the top of that. Alright, so we've got our pen down, which means we are in position to draw this shape. We're going to change our colour, first of all, to gold. Again, if you find this gold color a little bit dull, you can change it to um, a brighter yellow, but I found it a little bit too bright on my computer screen, so I've gone with gold. Um, I'm going to turn the fill on, which means we want to color in the shape we're about to draw by using the begin fill function. And then we're just going to simply draw a circle. And that circle is going to have a 250 pixel radius. Once that's been drawn, we just end the fill to say we've finished coloring our shape in. And that little section of code should draw us a gold colored circle on the page. Perfect. Now it is chopping it off at the top, but that's fine. We don't care about the top of that circle because all we want is that crescent moon shape. So to put that in, it's very, very similar code to what we just did. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste it. Highlight that section of code that you just wrote for that circle. Press Control C to copy it. Go down below. Press Control V and that will paste it in. Now we're just going to change a few of the numbers here. We're going to change the go-to numbers first of all. Instead of minus 135 on the y-axis, we're going to minus 65. Um, our color is going to change from gold back to that sea green color, so it blends in with the background. And the circle that we draw, we're going to change that. Um, we're going to change that size. We'll try 300, a little bit larger than the circle we drew just before. We'll give that a quick run and see how it's looking. That's not too bad. I might stick with that. It's not quite perfect. You have a look at the flag there. I think the ends come up a little bit higher. Uh, but to get that looking good, you'd have to get it into a little bit more in-depth code. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to keep it simple today. So I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. This little divot, I guess you can see down here, is just the turtle itself. The little um, shape that draws everything on the screen for us. We'll hide that at the end, so don't worry about that little um, divot there. That will disappear in a moment. Alright, so we've got our moon shape done. That's looking good. So the next thing we might do is chuck in that little gold star. So let's put in a comment. Actually, I'll make a bit of room first of all. Put in a comment that says star. And code again is pretty similar, but we'll write from scratch this time. We need to do our pen up first of all and go to some new coordinates. We're going to go to the left of our page on the x-axis. So minus 65 is where we'll be starting this star. And 75 on the y-axis. So that's bringing us up a little bit from halfway. 
we'll put our pen down once we're in position and we'll change our color back to gold so it matches the crescent moon that we just drew we want to color this shape in so turn your fill on using the begin fill function and let's draw this star we'll use a loop to do that so for i in range five we're going to have five points on this star Make sure you put a colon at the end of that line. Press enter. You'll see your mouse cursor becomes indented just to show that this next section of code is what's going to be repeated inside of our loop. And we're simply going to go forward 120 and then turn right 144 degrees. And if we repeat that five times, we should end up with a star. Don't forget to jump outside of that loop and end the fill first. Otherwise, you won't have a star that's colored in. It will look a bit funny, but that's our code to draw a five-sided star. So if we give that a run, we should have our crescent moon and star above it. So that's looking good. You can see that little divot from the crescent moon has disappeared now, but we can see up here our little turtle is at the end of that, or at the tip of that star. That's fine. <clears throat> As I said, we'll hide that later in the program. So what we've got left to do now is just throw in those two big rectangles at the top and the bottom. And that's going to be a pretty simple job. So back to our code. We might start with the top red rectangle, so I'll put in a comment that says top rectangle. And we're just going to lift our oops, pen up off the page first of all, and we'll go to our new coordinates. So we're going to start right in the top left hand corner for this one. So minus 400 and 250 will take us to the top left corner of the page. Put our pen down once we are in position. And the color we're going to use today, you could use red, but I'm going to go again with a slightly dimmer shade, which is called fire brick. But by all means, if you want to brighten it up, go with red. Uh, we turn our fill on to begin the fill, and we create a loop to draw this rectangle. So for I in range, I'm going to go two this time. So we've got two equal sides uh, in a rectangle. So we're going to go forward all the way across the top of the page. That's 800 steps. And then we're going to turn right at 90 degrees. We go down the page, which is still going forward. About 75 steps and then turn right 90 degrees one more time. Those four lines of code there will be repeated twice to create the rectangle. Once done, jump outside of that loop by pushing your uh, mouse cursor back to the left hand edge of the page and put in your end fill. So that little section there should draw us a rectangle that goes all the way across the top of the page and it should be filled in with that fire brick color. So let's give it a run and have a look. Looking good to me. So we want that repeated at the bottom of the page. There's multiple ways you could do it, but the copy and paste job is just going to do me for now. So highlight what you just wrote, paste it in below. I'm going to write bottom rectangle. And we're just going to change a few things here. We're going to change our go to to minus 250. So minus 400 minus 250 will put us in the bottom left hand corner of the page. Uh, we can get rid of color because our color is already set to fire brick. And this time when we go forward 800, we need to then turn left 90 degrees. We're going to come back up the page when we draw our rectangle. And I reckon that's about it. The last thing we're going to put in just before we test it is hide turtle, which will hide that little turtle shape that um, I was talking about before. Give it a run. And bang, you've got your flag of Mauritania all drawn. So that looks really good. Um, so make sure you save that up and I will see you in another video.